Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between William Steinitz and Adolf Andersen. This is a game from the Andersen-Steinitz match that was played in London in 1866. And this is a game from the first ever World Chess Championship. Steinitz had white pieces and he started with e4. Adolf Andersen played e5. f4, King's Gambit. Pawn takes pawn, King's Gambit accepted. Knight to f3. G5, Bishop to c4, G4. Knight to e5 was played. In 1862, Steinitz castled kingside the Muzio Gambit. And the things didn't go well for him. He lost the game. In this game he played knight to e5. Queen to h4 check. King to f1. Knight to h6 defending both pawns. d4, d6. Knight to d3. f3. g3 keeping the file closed. Queen to e7. Knight to c3. Bishop to e6. Bishop to b3. Bishop to g7, bishop to e3, black to move. Bishop takes on b3 was played, not the strongest move. Pawn takes bishop, c6, preventing knight to d5. Who is better? Black is a pawn up, but white has a stronger center. Queen to d2, knight to g8, e5, d5, keeping the position closed, because white has a better activity of the pieces. Bishop to g5, queen to e6, it is obvious that white has a better development, isn't it? Knight to a4, knight to a6, knight from a to c5, attacking the queen, knight takes knight, knight takes knight. Queen to g6, well, Anderson considered queen to c8 defending the pawn and then like queen to f4. White is standing better. So he played queen to g6, giving up the pawn on b7. And knight takes on b7, knight to h6, knight to d6, check, king to d7. With the white knight sitting on d6, things don't look too rosy for Anderson. White to move, how would you continue? Stanitz played h3. Even stronger is queen to b4, daring black to take on b4. In this position, the king to e6 would be perhaps the best. And then bishop takes on h6, maybe black would not even take the bishop, maybe queen takes on c2 would be played. And let's go back. In this position, if queen takes on g5, then queen to b7 check. And after king to e6, queen takes on c6 and white is winning. Back to our game. h3, second strongest move. f6, attacking the defender of the knight on d6. Pawn takes pawn on f6, bishop to f8. Knight to b7. Knight to f5. Bishop to f4. g takes on h3. King to f2. Queen takes on f6, bishop to e5, attacking the queen, queen to g6, rook takes on h3. If bishop takes rook, what happens then? Then queen takes on g3, check is unpleasant, extremely unpleasant. Back to our game. Rook takes on h3, bishop to h6, attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? Steinitz played knight to c5 check. King to e8. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Why to move? What is the best square for the queen again? What would you do? Steinitz played rook takes on h6. Knight takes rook. Bishop takes on h8. King to f7. Bishop to e5. White is now clearly better. Maybe. What do you think? Queen to h5. Tightening queen to h2 check. How to prevent queen to h2 check? What would you do? 
Stein is played queen to f4, check. King to g8, white to move. This is now a very interesting move. Stein is played rook to h1. What a move. Black to move. Knight to g4, check. If queen takes on h1, then white has a forced win. Like this, queen to g5, check. King to f8. Queen to g7, check. King to e8. Queen to d7, check. King to f8. Knight to e6, check. King to g8. Queen to g7, check. Mate. Back to our game. So in this position, knight to g4, check. King to g1. f2, check. White to move. What is the best square for the king? What would you do? This is not a trick question. You got to move the king. Steinitz played king to g2 and Anderson resigned. One line goes like this. Pawn to f1 queen. And then queen takes queen. Knight to e3. Check. Forking the king and the queen. King to f2. If knight takes queen, then rook takes queen on h5. Let's take it back. If knight goes to g4, check. Then king to g1. After queen to g6, queen to d3. And white is easily winning. What a battle. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.